Etrachan saw it. This is a story from when I was in elementary school. Cutting! Tsutsuchi! Let's walk home together. Can I come over today? Sure. What do you want to do? <gasps> Cutty, be careful! Huh? <gasps> because of this accident, Tsutsuji got a huge scar on her face. Tsutsuji got a scar because of me? <gasps> I'm so sorry! If I had only looked around more carefully, Tsutsuji's face would have been fine. What if... Tsutsuji won't forgive me. Karin, don't you worry. This is a scar of honor for being able to protect you. I'm so glad you're safe. <laughs> At this moment, I swore to my heart I'd protect Tsutsuji forever. Don't you cry. Then, we went to the same middle school, high school, and walked our paths smoothly. We graduated from college, and our jobs are going well. And at last... Karin, congratulations on your engagement! Wow, thank you! Karin is getting married at last! I was devastated when Tsutsuji got married before me. You said you're making it official after the wedding. Yeah, after we finish the ceremony and move in together. To think this might be the last time we sleep over. Hey, we could probably go on trips together. We've been close for such a long time, and we always will be. Yeah. Since elementary school. I'm so glad your scar is fading away. You can't really tell with makeup on, yeah? I was happy to have a scar of honor, though. Don't <laughs> say that! I'm so glad your scar is going away. Oh, right! I made a slideshow to play at your wedding. Wow, that was fast. Can you check it just in case? I will! Oh, this was when we were in middle school. Yeah, you remember? Of course. Tsutsuji? Yeah? I'm gonna cry. Not yet! I'll watch it at the ceremony with everyone else. We're playing it while you're changing, though. The day of the wedding. The slideshow's starting. Akamatsu, let's go! Wait up! Don't rush! Oh, you're here? You're done changing? Yep, I'm done. Excuse us for a second. Sorry, Tsutsuji. Oh. Look, Akamatsu, that picture. You. Gross. That's a huge scar. A girl with that face? <laughs> hey! How dare you say that to my best friend? Uh. She got that scar when she saved me. Hey, Karin. To say such a mean thing about someone's appearance. Hey, Karin, chill. I can't do this. I'm not marrying you. Karin! Wait, really? Later. I'm so sorry! I didn't know that girl <laughs> Tsutsuji was your best friend! I seriously regret it, so please, don't say you're not marrying me! You're so annoying! It's not just about Tsutsuji! To say something so terrible about a girl's appearance? I was just trying to lighten up the mood! To lighten up the mood by talking crap about someone? I was a little drunk! Drunk or not, that was unacceptable! Um, but... Anyway! I don't want a man who judges people by their appearance. <sighs> I really can't stand it. We should talk with our parents next time. Shit. Because of that girl! Mom? Dad? Akamatsu! You're so sneaky calling Karin out like this. I can't believe you did such a thing to Karin's friend. Why are you guys here? Karin talked to us. No wonder you got dumped. I'm leaving. Hey! We're not done talking! Akamatsu! You still have something to say? <laughs> Shit! Does that girl matter more to you than me? Of course. I swore to myself that I'd protect her forever. <sighs> Shit! <sighs> I'm so tired. But now that our relationship is officially over, I can't believe that he's that kind of person. Tsutsuji saved me once again. Oh! Hello? Oh, Karin! It's Tsutsuji. You really broke up with Akamatsu? Yeah, I just finished talking to him. I'm sorry. It's my but It's not your fault at all. Actually, I want to thank you. Oh, uh, okay. Thanks to you, I realized what kind of person he really is. 
When this is all over, let's have a sleepover again. Best friends forever. Waiting. Okay, call me when you're settled. Sure thing, Miss Sisuji. I still haven't explained all this to my company or decided who's paying for the cancellation fee or anything. But I was able to protect my friend. Whoop! Tomorrow's a new day! I'm Karin. Hi, Azami. Hi, Karin. This is my neighbor, Azami. When I walked by, I could smell the delicious stew you made. Could you share some? Oh, sure. She's rich, but she is a real cheapskate and often comes to my house to buy some food for dinner. But she always gives me souvenirs when she travels, so I didn't really mind. Oh, thank you. You're always so good to me, so... But one day... Karin, please give me some food. Two Tupperwares? No, there won't be any left for me. Then just one is fine. I'm going to the temple, so I want to give it to the monk. Give food to the monk? I was a little intrigued, so I asked her for details. Even though Azami's rich, she's Wait. super anxious about her financial situation after retirement, and apparently she's had nightmares about losing money many times. And every time, she jumps awake to check her bank account. To make things worse, I'm not getting any bonus this year. As she was becoming increasingly neurotic about money, she heard the news of her husband's bonus being cut and her anxiety doubled. One day, because she was sleep-deprived because of her neurosis... Oh, poor Azami! I'll introduce you to a good monk, so you'll be fine, her own sister told her. But that temple seems really shady the more I hear about it. He said if I pay $5,000 for divination, my neurosis would go away. <laughs> That's a shady religion for sure. I'm bringing this as a little gift too. Oh, I see. But shouldn't that be money? No, it should be okay. Monks live simple lives. And she went to the temple with my stewed potatoes and beef in her hand. Thanks! Be safe! I hope she doesn't get into it. And for a few months since then, I haven't heard from a zombie. I wonder if she's okay. Then... Yes? Oh, a zombie! It's been a while, Karin! Hear me out! My neurosis has healed! It's so nice to be able to sleep at night! Azami, who looked way happier than usual, finally came to visit. Good for you! Did you really get divination? Oh, that... That didn't work at all for me. Uh, what? Oh, so you did try it. Yeah, I did! Apparently, in my past life, I was a wife of a wealthy merchant who was killed in her sleep. That's why I'm so obsessed with money. But I couldn't feel the effects at all, and whenever I looked at my budget book, I felt like crying. $5,000! $5, so I just went to a neuropsychiatrist. Then I got so much better with the medicine they prescribed for me. Why didn't she just go there in the first place? So I... I'm on my way to get my $5,000 back that I paid to the monk. What? Um, isn't it kind of impossible to get your money back for divination? No, I got this. The monk's job is to make people happy, right? For me, money is happiness itself. So if he cares about me, he should give it back. I thought in a case like this, people would just give up. Poor monk. He scammed the wrong victim. I'm off to the temple! How will the battle between the shady monk and Miss Cheapskate Azami end up? Three hours later. I wonder how it went. Karin! I want it back! $5,000! Winner, Miss Cheapskate Azami! Azami won her $5,000 back, like she said. Great job. What a queen. Apparently, her sister was there at the discussion. You? The monk took such good care of you, and you say such a thing? What a shame! You piece of shit! But... But the divination didn't work, so it can't be helped, right? And the monk's supposed to live simply, so he doesn't need money, right? To that, the monk and her sister had nothing to say. Finally... If you take this, you will be a stray dog in your next life. You won't be safe forever. You're okay with that? Said the monk, but... Yep, no problem! She took her money back without hesitation. 
he was yelling something till the very end. But I just ignored him and left. I can't believe someone like her became neurotic at all. And before she left, she took the pork miso I was prepping for dinner, like always. I'll come by again! I wonder if she'd continue to be a cheapskate even as a stray dog. Well, for now, I'm just glad she came back safely. I'm Yuri. I'm a 30-year-old housewife. And I live with my husband and daughter. <laughs> <laughs> Today's guest is... Oh! It's Yuzuriha! Top celebrity Yuzuriha! Wow! She doesn't age at all! Everyone was surprised when I told them that she used to be her classmate, Mom! Well, I really admire her for what she's made of herself. Yeah, that's right. Wow. The super so popular beautiful. celebrity, Yasuriya, yeah, so used to be her classmate in high school. She's become even prettier than before. Anyone would say that she's beautiful, but back in high school she was far from popular. Back then she was... Super thick glasses. Bad posture. Pretty chubby. She looked like this. She wasn't very outgoing, and her classmates barely really noticed her. People used to make fun of her. I would kill myself if I was ugly as Yuzuriha. Hey, fatty coming through. Hey, Akamatsu! For being like that. But as soon as she became beautiful and a successful celebrity, it completely changed her attitude. Me and Yuzuriha were best friends in high school. We used to go for coffee all the time. Yuzuriha and I were almost a thing back then. Scandal alert! We have so many secrets. And posted on social media like they were really close in high school. I'm sure she doesn't think anything about those guys. I heard that you began dieting back in high school. Did anyone support you back then? Yeah, there is one person who used to be really nice to me. I still call and talk with her often. What? Does that mean it's someone you know too, Mom? Wait, is she talking about you? Oh no, I don't talk to her that often. Uh, okay then. But, after this comment, our former classmates started talking. The next day... Hmm, an unknown number. Yes, help! Hey, Yuri! Oh, is that you? Who she was talking about? Wait, who is this? It's Akane! So, is it true? Are you in touch with Yusuria? Oh, that comment. No, I have no clue. It must be someone from another class. Yo, sure. You better not be lying to me. How did she get my number? If only she would put that energy to good use. And after that, my former classmates were on a quest to find the person who was still in touch with Yasuria. Are you hiding an affair with Yasuria from us? What? Just tell me already. I don't know. They use social media to reach out to people that were in other classes as well. Your classmates are going crazy. Yeah. It's like they're witch hunting. They're doing anything they can to connect to Yasuriha. Things continued like that until one day. Huh? Who is this? No way. Someone on social media came out and claimed to be the one. Things developed quickly from there. Hey, who are you really? I can't tell you yet, but Yuzuriha is looking forward to it, and she says that she'll pay too. Whoa, like a true celebrity. Let's go big then. Who's in charge? Where should we do it? I'd choose the place and take charge then. This friend proposed a reunion to which you invite is Yuzuriha. I've booked Bistro Etra for the night. It's $300 per person, but Yuzuriha says she'll cover it. Wow, Bistro Etra is such an expensive restaurant. A few days later. Oh, a phone call. Hiragi? Hello? Is this Yuri? It's been a while. It's Hiragi. About the reunion. I'm calling to take RSVPs. Uh, I think I'll pass. You're not coming? It's your chance to meet a superstar. Well, she might not actually show up. And besides, I feel bad for her paying for me anyways. Hmm. That's so like you, Yuri. I thought you'd say that. What? I'll talk to you later. Later? And... The day of the reunion. Hey, everyone! Long time no see. Hey, Akamatsu! Good to see you again. Yuzuriya's not here yet? I thought the invitation said 6 p.m. I guess the hero arrives late. But man, 
If I knew she was gonna turn out so pretty, I should have slept with her back in high school. Yeah, her breasts are still huge. Maybe you still have a chance. Oh, Hiragi, good point. Not that a boring guy like you would have any chance. Yeah. <laughs> when she shows up, I'm gonna ask her if she has any high brand bags that she doesn't use. I'll ask her for money then. I'll have to get her signature so I can sell it online. Oh, me too. Well, <laughs> this is so fun. <laughs> 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 Hey, why aren't they showing up? I don't know. They probably have a photo shoot or something. But the venue closes at 8 p.m., right? What's going on? What's her friend doing? Hiragi, call him! About that. I'm trying to look for the friend account, but it must be deleted because I can't find it. What? what? Looks like we've been deceived. Oh, well. So the tab is $300 per person. What the hell? I didn't bring any money! Who was it? That fooled us! In the end, the Surion is a guy who claimed to be her friend so long. Find you. <laughs> so, I heard from Kiragi afterwards. Oh, that must have been crazy, but expected. I hope everyone calms down a bit after this. By the way, Yuri, the friend that Yuzuri had talked about on TV, that's you, isn't it? Don't worry, I won't tell anyone. I'll tell you a secret, too, in exchange. That friend account that fooled everyone? That was me. What? That restaurant is my relative's place. That was great business for one night. Why would you? Well, they used to bully me back in high school. So it was a little payback. Back then, you were always nice to me. So I knew it was you when you declined to go to the reunion. Yuzuriha is lucky to have a friend like you. Hiraki. Yeah, he was right. The friend who Yuzuria was talking about? Hello? Yeah, I'm fine. How are you, Yuri? Yeah, I'm great! It was probably me. It was back in fall of her last year in high school. Oh, is that Yuzuria? I ran to Yuzuria staring at a mannequin in the store window. Maybe she wants it. Yuzuria! Oh, uh, hi, Yuri. Did you want that shirt? Um... No, I can't wear that. But you were staring at it, weren't you? Why don't you ask to try it on? Oh, uh, no! Why not? Because I'm so fat and ugly. It wouldn't look good on me. Mm. You wanna know a secret? A secret? Look at this. Wait, this is you, Yuri? Yeah, I was pretty fat until high school, too. I was watching a TV show about losing weight. Look how good she looks! I thought that maybe I could too! It took time, but it's what got me into running! And I became more confident and optimistic about myself. If there are clothes you want to wear, all you have to do is lose some weight! I really think these clothes will look good on you! <gasps> yeah, thank you, Yuri. I'll try my best until I can wear those clothes. Yeah, you should. And... I've noticed for a while now... You have beautiful eyes, sexy lips, and smooth and transparent skin! Big breast, and a tight butt. What? Yusuria, I guarantee you, if you lose some weight, you will be beautiful! Let me help produce you, please! Oh, uh, okay. And this is how... We started running out this school and training in secret. <gasps> Come on! That continued even after we graduated and went our separate paths. We also kept in touch. In two years, she could wear that shirt perfectly. What do you think? Exactly as I suspected. She keeps becoming more and more beautiful. And... I was recruited by a model agency called Etra Academies. What? That's amazing! In no time, she became a huge star. And here we are. I just finished shooting, so I have to time off. You want to meet up? Yeah, but I have to make sure my daughter doesn't find out. There's nothing to hide. Maybe when she's older. It's just a pain if other people start finding out. Why is that? Oh, nothing in particular. It would just be annoying if a bunch of your fans started coming over and stuff. <laughs> I guess 
there's no need to tell her, because she's enjoying from the bottom of her heart what she's earned for all her hard work. And action! I'm Tokusa. This is my second year out of college. I live with Kuroki and Tachibana, my friends from college. There was a phone in our house that we shared, but all three of us had mobile phones, so we never used it. But one day... A phone call at 9 p.m.? It's probably a prank call. Let's just ignore it. Oh, it stopped. But less than five minutes later... Maybe we should answer it. It could be something important. Hello? Oh, hello. Is this Tachibana? No. Huh, that's weird. I thought this was where Tachibana lived. Tachibana's working now, but this guy seems fishy. I'll be late tonight. Tachibana isn't here right now. We could have told him that we shared this house together, but they seemed too fishy. I'm sorry, who is this? Um, well, I want to speak with Tachibana. If you won't give me your name, I'm hanging up. Goodbye. Was it a prank? I'm not sure. They wanted to talk to Tachibana. What? Again? What do they want? Hello? This is Tachibana's house, right? Are you Tachibana's family? No, we just live with him. Oh, you guys are sharing a house together. Just dudes? What's up with this guy? Tell me your name, damn it! Tachibana's not home at this time of the day? Do you know where he is? No! He's working late. That's suspicious. Who's suspicious? You won't even give me your name! He hung up! What the hell? Is Tachibana in some kind of trouble? Tachibana was kind of a player in college, and he had some bad friends. <laughs> I'm gonna get drunk before class! We were in the same class as him, and we convinced him to cut ties with his bad friends before going into the real world. You hear stories of things like old friends coming to borrow money or trying to lure you into weird things. Yeah, but do you think they'd call your landline at home? I'm back! Tachibana! I've been getting calls from an unknown number all day. It's kind of scary. What's up with you two? Actually, just now. What the hell? I haven't done anything to get into trouble! You sure? Any old friends from college? Hey, are you trying to accuse me of something? No, just calm down. Hey, is it you who's been calling me all day? What time do you think it is? I'm calling the police! Tachibana? Uh, uh, okay. Uh, yeah, I do. Uh, okay. Tachibana? The police are on their way. After 10 p.m., the police arrived. <laughs> I'm Detective Hiragi. I could tell immediately from his voice that it was the same man from the phone call. We are investigating an assault right now. You know this man, Akamatsu, right? I knew him in college. Did he do something? He's been arrested. Last Wednesday, there was an assault in the city. He was arrested as a suspect, but he's denying the charges. There aren't many witnesses. We were searching his known associates and your name came up. No, I did hang out with him in college for a while, but I don't even talk to him anymore. Are you sure? College for you wasn't that long ago. Are you sure you cut ties? It's not that hard to fake your phone records too, you know. Are you calling me a liar? No, I'm just saying it's not that easy to stop hanging out with bad friends. For all I know, you were there and participated with Akamatsu. If you're lying, you'll be arrested too, okay? Listen up! I had nothing to do with this! Hey, don't get violent. So you're the violent type. Tokusa, he's in trouble. Sounds like they're trying to work him up. Detective, last Wednesday the three of us were out drinking. Tachibana has an alibi. Stories from friends aren't much proof, you know. We haven't ruled you guys out as associates either. Hey, stop pulling them into this! Calm down, Tachibana. This is a picture from that day. You can ask the people at the bar, too. Mad? I think he's mad. Hey, we're leaving. Hey, wait up! What? You come here suspecting and interrogating us for no reason, and we don't even get an apology? 
Huh? You guys gave me nothing to even work off of. Why would I apologize to you? I'm out of here. Damn! What the hell? I'm pretty mad too. And he's a detective! Why are you so calm, Tokusa? Well, well. If that's how he wants to play, let's take him down. The next day, we went to the police department. If you're lying, you'll be arrested too, okay? What is this? Is this really Hiragi? When we call, sometimes we refrain from giving our identity to prevent reactions. But this attitude is a problem. I just thought Hiragi was very serious and a good detective. It's only certain people that think that. That guy steals people's cases and tries to take credit. He crosses lines when he's investigating. That guy who quit the other day was being bullied by Hiragi. Finally, he's been exposed for who he really is. Uh, I'm back! Oh, you guys from yesterday. What's wrong? Hiragi. Don't act like you don't know what you did to these kids. What? Are they filing a complaint? That's weird. Damn, what are you lowlifes doing here? I don't know what you heard, sir, but they're probably just exaggerating. Don't make such a big deal out of it. Exaggerating? Does this sound like a big deal to you? So, you are the violent type. Uh! You owe them an apology. I'm... I'm sorry! He was a totally different person from the night before. He apologized on his knees. But no one came to help him. A few days later, the real suspect was arrested. Akamatsu had nothing to do with the case. Hiragi had decided that Akamatsu was guilty just to close the case as quickly as possible. We heard that he was dismissed from the police afterwards. Thank you guys for believing in me. We live with you, man. We know you. <laughs> Hello? Hey, Tachibana! Long time no see. It's me, Akamatsu. Akamatsu? I asked around and finally got your number. Thanks to you, I avoided being falsely charged. Thanks, man. Let's go for a drink sometime. I don't want to get involved with you! And we pulled the plug so the phone would never ring again. I'm Karin. I've never had a boyfriend in my life. One of the reasons I stay away from romance is... My sister, Yuzuria. She's always been a teaser. In kindergarten? Hey, what's going on? I said I like strong boys and they started fighting. In junior high, she joined the soccer club as assistant manager. Yuzuriha! She's waving to me! No, me! You guys, focus on practice! That year, the team lost miserably. Our parents sent her to an all-girls high school, but she got close with a teacher and it turned into a huge problem. Could you help me with my homework? Yuzuriha. This is just the tip of the iceberg. There was always trouble around Yuzuria, but apparently, she likes it this way. Guys, I think they like getting into trouble. You should go to one of those matchmaking parties, sis. You're in college. Thanks to you, I'm completely turned off to romance. I've never had a boyfriend, and I've seen too many relationships fall apart. Yuzuria and I go to different colleges today. We both live on our own. Anyways, Yuzuria, I hear you up to no good again. What? Oh, stop it. I said it's fine. I've got classes and work. I'm busy. But if you ever get a boyfriend, who knows? I might come and steal him. Can you believe it? Two sisters fighting over a guy. Fun, isn't it? She said. So scary. Yuzuria, she hasn't changed a bit. But sometimes, I wish I could be like her. I mean, she must be really confident about herself to say and do all of that. I admire that. This is Yuri, my friend from college. She's the opposite of Yuzuria. You give her too much credit. I wish my sister was like you, Yuri. We're the same age. Yuri, sorry to bother you. Yuki. You free this weekend? Yeah, we're gonna go see that movie, right? Yeah, I'm looking forward to it, but the starring actor is really handsome. I'm worried you might fall in love with him. What? No need to worry about that. I'll text you later. Okay. Lovely, as always. Not my type, though. 
It's kind of embarrassing, but I've never been treated like this by a guy, so it makes me happy. Well, as long as she's happy. But things turned south quickly after that. Did you get that bag from Hidagi? Yeah, he said. I know what looks best on you. I thought it was too flashy, but... It stands out, but it's not bad. You must really love you, Yuri. I guess. Welcome. Let's sit over there. Is that Hidagi? Who's that girl? Hi. What's the matter? Nothing. I think they're on a date. Wait, that's the same bag as the one Yuri has. Hi. What are you looking at? Hidaki? Uh. Hidaki? Who's that? Yuri. That bag. Huh? Hidaki gave it to me. Wait, why do you have one too? Hidaki! You were cheating on me with her? What the hell are you talking about? Yuri is Hidaki's boyfriend. Unbelievable! You are cheating on us? Hidaki! Shut up. What, is it illegal to go out with multiple girls or something? How could you? I trusted you. You sure did. When we were alone, you were all over me. It was kind of annoying. And Akane, you got so excited when I gave you that cheap bag. What's your problem, asshole? Don't think you can get away with this. I haven't done anything wrong. It's your fault for being tricked. Just let it go. Whatever, I'm over this. Please settle down. Why? What the hell did I do? Yeah, there. He got us both. Let's just try to move on. Yuri, you must be hurt too. She was trying to hide it, but Yuri was shocked. Sorry, I'm not feeling well today. Yuri, you missed class yesterday too. You okay? Yeah, don't worry. Yuri's been out of it for a while. Yeah, how long does it take to get over a guy? It's all Hidaki's fault. Hey sis, wanna grab a drink? Oh, I know. A few days later. And so, that's what happened. Yuzuria, will you help us? Interesting. But, are you sure? I can be pretty harsh. Yeah, go full out. <laughs> Yuzuria met with Hidegi through a friend. We don't look alike, and our last name was pretty common, so Hidegi had no idea we were related. You're the prettiest girl I've ever met. Really? You're the nicest guy I've ever met. I think I'm a bit drunk. I'm not sure what Yuzidia did after that. Honestly, I don't want to know. Jewelry? Bags? Hideki bought me all these things. And he seems to like flowers. He always gets me flowers. He never did that to me. And the stuff he bought you looks more expensive than the stuff he gave me. It's not hard. All you have to say is, my last boyfriend bought me better <laughs> stuff. If you just say thank you, he won't try harder. I see. Don't listen to her. Oh, look, a text from Hidegi. Yuzutan, what do you want next? Yuzutan, I can't wait to meet you. Yuzutan, I love you. At your service, Yuzutan. I won't let anyone hurt you. Those earrings look amazing on you, Yuzutan. Yuzutan? That's what he calls you? At your service? What the? He wasn't like this to me. I guess he wanted to play the prince in front of you, Yuri. So how did you turn him to a servant? That's a secret. I hear money's pretty tight, though. Yikes! Who knows? He might try to borrow money from his ex-girlfriends. Watch out, Yuri. <laughs> Yuzuria was right. Why is Karin here? What's the matter? And what do you want with Yuri? Yuri, remember all those places I took you out on dates? Huh? Movies, aquariums, high-end restaurants. And I gave you those earrings. Wait, was it a bag? Uh, what's your point? 
All the money I spent on you, I want it back. Huh? Why? I just need the money. You get your money back when you cancel an insurance policy. It's the same thing. So... Welcome. <laughs> you being serious right now? <gasps> hey, look at me. Pay attention. Hey, Yuzu... Yuzuriha, who is this guy? Oh, Hideki, what a coincidence. What? What the hell? You cheating on me? Sir, please settle down. What if I am? Why, is it illegal? You're joking me, right, Yuzuriha? Would you stop calling me that? And when we're alone together, you're all over me. It's kind of gross. You tricked me, you little! Hey, stop it! It's your fault for being tricked. Just let it go. How does it feel to be betrayed? Maybe now you understand how Yuri felt. Huh? I'm over you. Bye. Yuzuria! Please go home. All done. Yuzuria! Hey sis, how was it Yuri-san? That was amazing! Thank you Yuzuria. I can't believe we just did that to him. Who's this guy? That's my boyfriend. Oh, that girl from before. Hey! I met her through a friend. Better to have more people on your side, right? You. That felt nice. Thanks. Of course. Have fun with your boyfriend. Yuri, watch out for those types, okay? Thank you, Yasuria. And so, thanks to Yuzuria, we were able to get some sweet revenge on Hidegi. Turns out Hidegi was in debt to his friends, buying all that stuff for Yuzuria. After being tricked by Yuzuriha, everyone found out about his wrongdoings. Today, he's got no friends and no money. He's a pretty miserable college student. Yuri's feeling much better, hanging out with her friends. She also got a new boyfriend. He looks really nice. I'm so happy for her. As for Yuzuria, I hear you stopped going to those matchmaking parties. Yeah, I'm over that. Seeing Hideki like that, I thought someone might try and do the same to me, you know? Yuzuria turned into an angel after that. Today, she's committed to her boyfriend. Well, it looks like Yuzuria grew up. I kind of want a boyfriend too. But... Sorry, I got a girlfriend. Me too. Sorry. Do you get a boyfriend? Making a boyfriend is really hard. After all this, I'm still single. My name is Kari. Kari, will you marry me? After three of years of dating, my boyfriend proposed to me. I was on great terms with his parents too, especially his mother Yuri. We even went to the theater together sometimes. Today's play was great. I hope they're doing a sequel next year. Oh. That means I'll be your mother-in-law by the time we get to watch it together. That makes me even more excited. I'm going to get dinner before heading home. Hideki's coming home early today. Is my son causing you any trouble? No, not at all. We're doing great. Currently, Hideki and I live together half of the time. I'm back! Welcome home. I'm going to have a lot of late nights next week. Will you be staying at your parents for a while? Yeah, I think that's what I'll do. My apartment is far from his work, so during busy times of the year, he commutes to work from his parents' house. It's been like that for six months. Hideki won't be coming home this week, so I guess I'll have to prepare on my own. Send out wedding invitations, get our marriage papers turned in. Jeez, there's still so much to do before the wedding. Oh yeah, I have to decide on a wedding dress too. Hey, Hideki, do you have time this weekend? Oh, I have work both days. Alright, maybe I'll go with Yuri then. Can you tell her for me? What? Sorry, I'm still at work. Do you mind calling her yourself? Okay, I'll do that. Hideki seems really busy lately. The weekend. Sorry, you look beautiful. Would you like to take some pictures? You look so nice. You're going to have a hard time deciding. Sorry to take up your time. Don't worry about it. I'm having fun. I feel bad seeing you in a wedding dress before your mother, though. I can't wait for her to see. Yuri's so kind and energetic. I'm so happy to be part of her family. Let's send her some pictures for now. Huh? <gasps> wait, 
Is that Hideki? Hey, what are you doing here? Who is this girl? Whoa, Karin! Hideki, didn't you say you were working today? Huh? Who are you? I'm his fiance. Huh? Don't lie. I'm his fiance. What? Calm down for a second. Let's go somewhere where we can sit and talk. Something crazy is happening. Her name was Akane. It was the first time that Yuri or I ever saw her. What are we doing here? We were shopping for a wedding ring. Uh, if you're talking about one of these, he already gave me one. What? That doesn't make any sense. We even live together right now. Wait, me too. What? I thought he was going to work from your house, Yuri. Huh, I thought he was always at your place. Who are you, old lady? This is my mom. What? She came with me while I was trying on wedding dresses. See? What is this? She's so much farther ahead than I am. I I won't accept this defeat. We aren't even competing. Hideki is borrowing $15,632.17 from me. So what? Way to be precise. Hold on. That money that you lent me before, I thought we were even after we broke up. How does that work? Wait, what do you mean before? Akane used to be my girlfriend before I started dating you, Karin. She kept contacting me even after we broke up, and things just ended up like this. It was her idea to go shopping for a wedding ring today, too. You seem excited about it, too. But anyways, you're the one I want to marry, Karin. Please. Hideki, you... Hold on a minute. So what? Are you saying this is all my fault? You never told me you were engaged. You're an asshole for leading me on like this. And you! If you're getting married to him, you're partly responsible for the money too. You pay me back, and you. As his parent, you should pay me consolation for what your son did to me. Huh? It's only fair, right? You should be held responsible for your son's actions as well. It's your fault that he's this way, isn't it? What the? Okay then, how much do you want? I'll pay you if that's what you want, but the money isn't for you. It's for my son who I'm cutting ties with as of today. So go ahead and use it for whatever you want. You are not my son anymore. Karin, I'm so sorry for what my son did to you. Yuri, Karin, you shouldn't have to marry this man. We'll prepare compensation for you as well. And as for you, Hideki, Tonight, you will join me and your father for a talk, got it? Yuri. She's so scary. I can't accept money from a person like that. Are you sure that's your mother? I've never seen her like that before either. Yuri, I was so excited for everything. Our engagement is off. Goodbye. Yuri. I wanted to talk to her, but I didn't know what to say. We never saw Yuri after that. A few days later, it had been a while since I saw him, and Hideki looked fatigued. Okay, so you'll be covering the cancellation fees. Yeah, I'll also contact the guests. I'll also stop by your parents' house to apologize to them as well. How's Yuri? I haven't seen her since that day, so I'm not sure. Oh, you really were kicked out? So you live with Akane now? Akane broke up with me too. I'm living out of motels for now, but I'm at my limit. So, could you let me spend the night? Not a chance. Karin, please let me I in. heard later that he had to quit his job because he was getting weird looks. I was supposed to quit too after my marriage, but I explained the situation to my company, and they decided to keep me. You might feel uncomfortable, so ask me for help if you need it. I've always been interested in theater. I'm glad I invited you then, Kuroki. <gasps> Yuri? Kari? I'm so sorry about what happened. Please, don't apologize. We really shouldn't have treated you like that. I don't know what to say to you. It's not your fault, Yuri. I always hoped that you could be my mother-in-law. I'm so glad to see you again. Who is that, by the way? Oh, this is my boyfriend. Karin told me a lot about you, Yuri. Let's go for some coffee after the play. Oh, I don't want to bother you two. I don't mind at all. Yuri and I stayed in touch from that day on. It was complicated, but Kuroki understood me. I ended up marrying Kuroki. 
I received a message from Yuri at my wedding. I'm praying for your happiness, Karin. Yuri used to be my fiance's mother, but now she's my friend. I still have a great relationship with her. I'm Karin. I'm happily married with my husband, Togusa. But there's one thing that's on our mind. My in-law parents, we don't live together, but... My mother-in-law, Ozmi, calls me all the time. She doesn't care if it's early or late. And the thing she calls me about... Yazuriya-san, Akamatsu's sister, is so ill-mannered. She sent us all this useless stuff the other day. I don't even know what to do with it all. I was on a train the other day, carrying this huge bag, but nobody gave their seat to me. People these days. <laughs> oh, my neighbor. She's been putting on a lot of makeup these days. Not sure why. It doesn't even look good on her. Maybe she's having an affair. What do you think? So sleepy. She talks about pointless stuff. She calls you too, Kari? She used to do that to me, but when I asked her to stop, she did. What? I know she's my mother-in-law, but I can't take much more of this. You should tell her to! She calls me day and night! I can't take it! Ugh, Mom. Hey, could you stop calling us so often? What? I'm just making conversation! Yeah, but all you do is complain <laughs> about stuff. And you always call too early or late. What? Are you saying we're bothering you? Hey, dear, say something. What's your problem, son? We're your parents! <laughs> We've got stuff to do, too. Just stop calling us so much, okay? Finally, I can sleep like a normal person. It got pretty awkward, but things settled down after that. But a few months later... One day, Akamatsu's mother, Tokusa's grandmother, passed away. Her family was busy with preparations for the funeral, so I decided to call my in-laws for them. Okay, okay. Hello? Oh, Mom. Hey. Oh, Karin. What's going on? You're calling us? You must have something really important, huh? Huh? Well... You're the one that told us to stop calling. Is that her? Just hang up! Sorry, we haven't got time to listen to you. I'm hanging up. I don't know what to do, but it was important so I called back. But no matter how many times I called, they didn't pick up. What should we do? There's not much we can do if they won't pick up. For now, let's go see our uncle. We went to our uncle's house to help out. We're, We're here, here to help! help. Oh! <laughs> Cleaning the house, making phone calls, things got pretty hectic. And we completely forgot about our parents-in-law. Two days later... Hey, you! Why did you call? Dad? We heard about this from a friend! You guys trying to shut us out or something? It's Agamasu-san! And his wife. Ah. Uh... Wait, Karin-san didn't call? Karin-san didn't tell them? That's so... Uh, I called you many times, but you hung up saying you had no time to listen to me. Yeah, it's your own fault. This is stupid. Grow up. Ah! I remember Karin-san complaining about azumi sans phone call. Yeah, so we asked her to stop, but then she got angry. So she hung up on you? Oh, her phone calls? She used to do that to us until I yelled at her. She knew Karin-san was too nice to say anything. Uh, uh. Azumi san is so... Uh. All the relatives realized what was going on. It was completely their fault. They became the useless son and wife who barely made it to the funeral because they were too busy harassing their daughter-in-law. Then, about a month later... Hey! Apologize about what you did! Now! What? Otherwise, we're through! We're cutting ties! Go ahead. I don't care. They probably thought it would work, 
They looked really shocked. What? I'm saying I'll cut ties with you. Think about that. What did your wife tell you? Ah, uh, shut up already. This isn't the time. You have no idea what I'm going through. You have any idea what my sisters did to me? They're the ones taking advantage of Kareen. What? They have nothing to do with this. Stop talking behind people's back. Shut up. What, you love your sisters more than me? For some reason, they started fighting with each other after that. They got thrown out of the building. You have no right to be here! This is my mother we're talking about! And since you're no longer my son, you have nothing to do with this! He yelled out right before leaving the building. Sure, you might not be my parents anymore, but she's still my grandmother. He got shut down. He made a fool of himself in front of his relatives. Akamatsu's dad, Takusa's grandfather, was furious about what happened. I can't believe he's related to me. You two! You never came to help around the house because you were too busy harassing your daughter-in-law! And you didn't even realize that your mother passed away! You fools! I'm cutting ties with you! I'm not leaving a dime for you guys! I heard that's what happened. You sure you want to do this? I mean, they are your parents. Yeah, they've always been like that. All mom did was talk bad about people, even during dinner. And dad? Well, he didn't think about others. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well... Yeah, actually. I feel much better. My name is Karin. I work for a small bookstore in the city. Oh, a message from Ozumi. The city where I work is a good place to have fun and is often featured in magazines. Karin, who are you? <sighs> Let me explain how we got here. Six months ago... Hey, Corrine! Are you here? Oh, there you are. I'm glad I found you. Ozumi, what are you doing all the way over here? I was shopping around here, but I thought too much. <laughs> wow, that's a lot. So, I was thinking about taking a taxi back home, but I'm a little short on money. <sighs> I hate to ask, but can you lend me some money? What? My wife is bad at managing money, so both of us have a set allowance. Oh, I remember my father-in-law talking about this. I do feel bad sending her home on a train with all this stuff, though. Alright then, how much do you need? I think $50 would be enough. Here you go. I'm sorry about this, you really saved me. I'm not completely on board, but it's just once. Lending her money was the biggest mistake of my life. Karin, can I borrow some money again? Yikes. Karin, can I borrow some today, too? Again? Karin! She started coming to ask for money for a taxi every time she was shopping in town. This is so annoying. But I hate to make a scene at my work. She won't stop coming by even after I asked her to stop. What should I do about this? Hey, Karin. You look stressed. What's wrong? What? No, it's nothing. Are you worried about something? You want to talk about it? No, I'm fine. Thanks for asking, though. Are you sure? I can't tell my husband, Takusa, about this either. Because when we visit his parents' house... I'll pay you back when we're alone. Here! She pays me back what she borrowed, even though it's in private. This is the last time, okay? I know, I know. I was able to hold myself back while she was still paying me back, but... Ozumi, you need to pay me back what I lent you the other day. Uh-oh, I have no money on me right now. I'm sorry. I'll pay you back next time. This started happening often. Are you kidding me? You already owe me $300. That's it! I want to get back at her, but telling on them to Dakusa my father-in-law is not enough for me. Oh, hi, Karin. Hey, boss. How are you? Oh, by the way, I haven't told you yet, but... <laughs> about what? You know, this place is pretty beat up, so I was thinking about remodeling it in two months. Oh, you're remodeling? So, I'll have to ask everyone to take a month off then. Oh, of course, it'll be paid leave. Don't worry. A holiday? 
Oh! This is it! Karen? So, when my paid holiday began, I didn't tell my mother-in-law about it. Hey, Karen! Where are you? Answer your phone! And here we are, back where we began. Alright then. Yes, hello? What happened, Katsura? How much money do you need? Huh? Hold on, Karin. What happened? I just got a call from your wife. She was crying about how she was short on money. What? Wait a minute. I'll call her and find out. I'll let you know when I find out. Okay, then. <laughs> just as planned. Now she'll be caught red-handed and get in trouble. I wish I could see her face. Alright then, time to make dinner. Please, I didn't know the bookstore was closed. I called, so she should be here soon. Hey, you're late! <laughs> Azami, what are you doing here? I came to see what was wrong. What is all this stuff? Yikes! He never called back after all. I'm already done with dinner. I'm home! Welcome back! Hey, do you know if anything happened between my parents today? What? Why do you ask? I just got a call saying that they're coming over this weekend. My dad also said to tell you that he's sorry. Oh, yeah. About that. Mm -mm. Uh. Karin, I'm sorry about my wife treating you like that. It's not your fault. Let me just make sure. Is there any money that she hasn't paid back yet? No, she's paid me back. For now. See? I told you! I've done nothing wrong! I always pay her back! Hm. Hey, that's what you say, but there was a time you owed me $300 because you didn't pay me back for so long, right? You... you borrowed that much? What? What? What's the big deal about borrowing some money for a cab? Don't be so stingy! Mom... Are you being serious? She was just lending you the money so you wouldn't cause a scene at her work. How could you take advantage of her situation like that? Uh. You should be ashamed of yourself. Uh. I'm... I'm sorry. Finally, she apologized. It must have hurt coming from her son. If you ever show up to her work again, I'm cutting your allowance for an entire month, okay? Wh wait! Absolutely! My mother-in-law was scolded by my father-in-law and husband. And thanks to them, she doesn't show up at my work anymore. And I'm back to my peaceful life. The shop is brand new, and I feel good. I'm Kuroki. Today I'm taking a drive around with my friend, Tokusa. Ah, it's always so nice to drive at night when the road is empty. Totally. But two guys of our age driving with such a view? Shut up! Nice views don't just exist for couples. I know, but you know what I mean. Huh? What? Oh, there's a car. Yeah, I see it too. Other people out at this time too? <sighs> it's so dark. I couldn't really see anything. Are they sleeping there overnight in the car? No. There was a woman crying. What? Go back, Kuroki! Maybe there was an accident! Yeah! Are you kidding me?! It's all your fault, you bitch! What the hell have you done to my car?! I even hit my elbow! See the blood?! How are you gonna pay for this?! What's going on? Huh? <sighs> what do you kids want? Uh, we thought you were arguing, so... Was it an accident? Can't you see?! Yeah, it's an accident! Can I ask for your name and your occupation? Why do I gotta tell you?! This is none of your business! Use this to wipe your blood! Are you okay? Do you have insurance? Which company is it? Um... Kuroki, I called the ladies' insurance. And the cops, too. Nice, Tokusa. 
This person won't talk straight, so I don't know which insurance he has yet. Can you take a picture of the scene for evidence for now? Got it. And ask her about the accident. What are you guys whispering about? Sorry. I want to ask about the accident. What? I was just driving and this chick jumped out of nowhere! <gasps> this is all because that chick wasn't paying attention! Please, calm down. The cops will be here soon. Hey. Sorry. Thanks for helping. No problem. He's talking nonsense. I was just waiting at the light. Then... Hey, Tokusa! The man has calmed down a bit. Tell me what you heard. Sure. Then, while we waited for the cops, I listened to Yuri's side of the story and looked around the scene. There's a stop sign here. The cops are taking a long time. It is quite deep in the mountains here. Enough! Well, that was surprising. With what? What? With you guys! Meddling with strangers' business! You have nothing to do with this! Oh, Kuroki. You didn't tell him? Well, I already quit. Then you can mention my name. Oh, right. Huh? Sorry. I haven't mentioned yet. We're... We work for Etra Car Insurance Company, where Yuri is a client. I mean, for me. I used to be. I contacted our company, so this case will be handled by Tokusa. So we are not outsiders in this matter. <laughs> this case, from what I heard you two and what I can see, the fault is highly likely to be 100% on you, Mr. Tachibana. And how you were kicking the other's car with anger? I will have to report that to the insurance company you're contracting with. Oh, and earlier, I forgot to ask for the name of the company. May I ask... Kuroki! Stop fooling around! Ouch! You believe her stories because she's a girl! It's nothing like that! Shut up! It was not my fault! Good evening, police. I heard there was a car accident. Looks like I'll have to do a report on another matter, too. Later, Tachibana was arrested for offense at the scene. Ouch! Are you okay? I'm okay. I'm okay. <laughs> Sorry. You got hurt because of me. No, it's not your fault. Hey, the ambulance has arrived. Please, don't worry. And go get checked out at the hospital. Please get on. Okay. Mm. Hey, thank you so much. I'd already quit this job, but... I'm proud to have been able to help someone one last time. Tokusa, take care of Yuri. Yeah. Oh, the way you say it is so awkward, it gives me goosebumps. Jeez, just let it go. I'm Sutsuchi. I lived with my husband Akamatsu and our son in junior high, Kuroki. But the other day, my husband passed away. He was on vacation with his mistress. They got in a car accident, and they both didn't make it. I didn't even realize he was cheating on me. <sighs> Akamatsu was driving under the influence. It was completely his fault. Oh, Akamatsu-san, you drank too much. It's fine. In drunk driving cases, the insurance payout is decreased significantly. To make things worse, Akamatsu had spent most of our savings on his mistress. No way! Most of our savings were gone. Mom! Kuroki? You okay? Kuroki's got his entrance exams to think about. I'm okay, sorry to worry you. Alright, I'm gonna go to school. Have a good day! We have to move out of this apartment in three months as well. It belongs to my husband's company. I've been a housewife for so long. Will I be able to get a job? The affair, my husband's death, everything's just happening so fast. Should I just... Uh, 
What was I just... Coming! Oh! Hey, Aunt Sasuji! Akane! Akane was Akamatsu's sister's daughter, so my sister-in-law's daughter. Akamatsu's sister was a single mother. I have a sister, Aunt. Things weren't easy for them, but I heard they were getting by. And a few years after we had Kuroki... Tsutsuji, there's something I need to talk to you about. That's when he brought over Akane, who was in junior high at the time. My sister, she ran away from home, leaving her daughter behind. What? And my parents aren't around, so I'm the only family Akane's got. Akamatsu, let's take her in then. I'm sure Kuroki will love having a sister. Tsutsuji! Nice to meet you, Akane. And so, the four of us started our new life together. Akane! Your teacher just called. Why have you been skipping school? Shut up! You're just my uncle. Stay out of it! Akane lashed out often. But can you blame her after everything that happened? She was always arguing with Akamatsu. Uh, Akane, your uncle is worried about you. Ah! <laughs> Stay out of this, Aunt Tsutsuji! You're not my real mom! Leave me alone! <laughs> Akane, what's your problem? What? This happened almost every day. Mom, you okay? Yeah. Ouch. I got multiple bruises trying to stop Akane. She wasn't doing well in school either. She somehow made it to high school, but... <gasps> Look at her grades! Uncle Akamatsu, Aunt Tsutsuji, I'm not going to college. I'm gonna get a job once I graduate. What? What, what are you talking about? I already found a job. And so she started working right after graduation. She moved out and started living at her company's apartment. See ya. Thanks for everything. Akane. Dad, Akane's leaving. <laughs> Akane, you know you can come see us anytime. <laughs> Whatever. Leave me alone. If I need something, I might stop by. I'll call you when I get a phone. See ya. And just like that, Akane left. She never called or visited. That's what I remembered about Akane. I wasn't expecting to see her again. I think she liked these. How have you been? How's work? Here, drink some tea. I'll cut right to the chase. Uncle Akamatsu died from a car accident, right? His inheritance? How much you got left? There's nothing. The insurance money, the savings, there's barely anything left. <sighs> Ugh. Is she gonna pull out a knife? Huh? A bank book? I heard from Kuroki about the money. Use this. $200,000? I can't take this! It's fine. I've been saving up to pay you back. Akane, why? So much money. Turns out, I've been in touch with Kuroki. Sis! Now that I think about it, they were pretty good friends. Hey, can you help me with my homework? I don't know the multiplication table, but okay. Then, and don't get me wrong, I've always liked you too, Auntie. Kane! Uncle's been like that ever since I can remember. Cheating on you and all that. So I never liked him. I couldn't tell you I felt bad. Yuzuriha! How awful! You knew? So just take the money, okay? Kane... Thank you, Akane! Oh, stop crying! Then, thanks to Akane, Kuroki and I got back on our feet. I got a job! Nice! Congrats! Time to celebrate with cake! Hmm, what kind of cake should I get? Akane, thank you so much! And sorry for yelling at you so much when you were young. Huh? When I was a teenager, I yelled at you even more. You're too nice, Auntie! Uh... And you're only older than me by 11 years, but I still call you auntie. I'm surprised you haven't slapped me yet. Sis, can you help me with my homework? I still don't know the multiplication table, but sure. Uh, actually, it's calculus. She hasn't changed. I'm still in shock about my husband, but I'm glad Akane turned out okay. <laughs> 